All right, what's up, everybody? Chris Lee back with another video. What I'm going to do is show you guys something real quick. This is something that I've been kind of wanting to show you guys for a little while. Um, I've been showing you guys how I do like these little caricature type cartoony looks of different people or different clients or whatever the case may be. Well, check this out. What I'm going to do with this particular video is just show you real quick what I personally like to do. Um, so I'm gonna jump right into it. If you're new to this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to get more videos like this in the future. Let's jump into it. All right. So check this out. This is something that I'm working on right now. Usually when I do this, uh, mainly for men or males, uh, I really like to show the different type of shapes and the different lines between, you know, the different hues or colors or, you know, just to go ahead and show like a little fade of color. Right. So you see how these lines are very, uh, I guess you can say um, they stand out a lot. What I normally like to do with women is I like to go ahead and add like a blur effect or Gaussian blur effect uh, just so I can kind of smooth their face out and bring more, I guess you can say, um, smoothness and definition in their in their face without making it look so blocky <clears throat> now don't get me wrong i just have a certain style that i like to do and there's nothing wrong with that but just to go ahead and show you guys an example um right here for the highlights what i'm doing <clears throat> is i'm taking a certain part for the highlight where i think there should be a highlight and i'm just drawing it like that right and then i fill it in with the color that i want now as you can see it's, I mean, it's there, it's in your face, it pops out, whatever the case may be. There is nothing wrong with that because it's all about how you want to do your art. There's really no wrong answer to it. So in a process, if I want to make her look a little bit more smoother in a process, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and click um, that particular highlight, go up to blur and Gaussian blur. Now, Right here, you can actually, you don't see any effect, but if you turn on preview, it'll give you the effect that you want. Now, I want this highlight to be there. I want this highlight to show up a little bit, but I don't want it to stand out so much to where it's like popping out at me, okay? So if you can notice, I did that in some of these other parts right here, and that's kind of what I want to go for. Now, if you change the radius, you can see what it looks like. Now, if I change it all the way up, it's almost gone. Okay. So you want to find a good middle ground or just wherever you think is best fit for you, whatever your personal preference is and kind of go with that. Me personally, I don't want it to stand out that much, but I'm going to go ahead and go with less than what I've been doing on the other ones. On the other ones, I've been kind of doing like 28 or something like that, 28 pixels. So I'm going to go ahead and hit okay and see if I like that. Okay. That's not bad. Um, I feel like it works, but I just don't want it to jump out too much at me. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and edit and undo that. Then I'm going to go down to blur and I'm going to hit preview again. And I'm just going to turn it up probably to 28. Just what I've been using. Boom. That's a little more non-existent to me because I don't want it too obvious. Now in a process, if I wanted to go through and do the rest of it like that, that's okay too. So let's kind of like leave one side of the face alone for the purpose of this video and go in and just hypothetically do some of the rest. So let's say we did um, this portion here. Same thing. Blur, Gaussian blur, preview. If you notice, it gives it like this airbrush look. Uh, I feel like it makes it blend more and I really like that because it kind of looks, you know, neat. So if I hit OK, <clears throat> boom, look at that. That line that was there, kind of like this one, it's gone because I gave it like that airbrush look. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. If that's if you want to go for that particular professional style look. OK, so in the process, if I did the same thing uh, with, let's say, um, even this piece here, same thing, blur, boom. What about this piece here? It's a bigger piece bigger chunk. Boom. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that blend that I'm getting um, within her face. So this is something that I really like to do when it comes to working on women, because I get more of that professional rounded, 
I guess you can say realistic look. But again, it's all personal preference. It's just what you choose or what you feel is best for your type of art. My type of art either way works for me. So I'm just going to kind of do what I think looks good. Now, if you ever get to the point to where you put like, geez, it's too much of the airbrush effect, then just go in, pull your lines in some. And then once it starts to uh, separate or spread, then it won't be outside of the lines. For right now, I'm just going to leave it alone because I'm okay with it. Okay, so going to do this here. Same thing. Gaussian blur. Boom. And this is something this is something that I feel separates, you know, different styles of art. It just depends on what you want to do, what you want to go for. I'm okay with this. Like I, I really, I really dig this. And it's something that that I would, you know, love to do more so with my with my art in the future. It just really depends. You know, if I did this nose portion of it as well. Boom. And that's just more of a realistic type of looking uh, art style. I personally love it. I love either way. And this is just something that I kind of wanted to show you guys. So if you ever feel in the future that uh, you want to kind of go for more of a realistic look, then don't be afraid to use some of the Gaussian blur in the process and allow your artwork to speak for itself. I personally love it. I think it looks great. It's kind of now it's kind of hard to choose whether I want to go with more of the blocky type look or, you know, where the lines are out there or just more of the blended look. It really just depends. I like both, but that's pretty much it. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I know that there's other ways that people like to do it, but this is just a way that I do it using a mouse. I'm not using any type of pens or any type of, you know, special tools to go ahead and accomplish this or achieve this. I do love the way it looks right now. If you enjoyed this video, please share this video with somebody else. If it helped you out, Show me some love. Show me some credit. You know, uh, give me a like. Share this video. Leave me a comment. You know, tell me that it did help you and it's something that you want to utilize in the future. Whatever the case may be, I really appreciate you guys watching this video. Y'all stay tuned. Thank you for showing me love and keep watching the next video. Peace. Mm -hmm.